One of the reasons I love the ocean so much is that there's always something new to see. And that was the case when I ran across this floating in the water column. When I first saw it, uh, I had no idea what it could be until I looked a little closer. If you look closely along the edge of the body, you'll see what looks like light flickering down the length of the body. That's actually caused by the beating of small bristle-like structures called teens. And as soon as I saw that, I knew that this had to be a comb jelly. But I'd never seen one like this before, nor had I even heard that they could take this long ribbon-like shape. And after I got home, I looked it up, and sure enough, it's a member of the Clophylum tenophora. The common name for this is a Venus girdle. It's a member of the order Cestida. Uh, members of this order are able to swim not just by using their teens, but they're also able to swim by undulating their bodies. And I watched this one try to do that, but I have to say, it didn't seem like a very effective method of swimming. But perhaps it's enough to allow it to aim itself in a particular direction. Um, in the open ocean, there are various names for animals based on the type of lifestyle they lead. Most people have heard of plankton and think of plankton as small microscopic organisms. Well, plankton doesn't necessarily have to be microscopic. Plankton consists of any organism that's incapable of swimming against the current. So basically they're at the mercy of the ocean to transport them from place to place. So jellies and comb jellies like this one uh, also live a planktonic life cycle because even though they can swim, they can't swim against the current and they have no control really where the ocean takes them. For me, looking at an animal like this really makes me think about life. Not my own life, but how simple or complex the act of living can be. This animal was nearly completely invisible, yet it moves and reacts to basic stimuli. And I think humans often forget that all things that we need to survive, like a circulatory system, nervous system, digestive system, these don't exist at all in some of the most basic forms of life on this planet, and this little creature was a surreal reminder of just how incredible life is.